I'm prepared. I swear to God, I'm organized. <laughs> I know how things work. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, the welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Afro, you can kill me. But I've already won. Welcome back to another movie coming from me reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And, and we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds. For this video, The Devil Wears Prada, I've never seen it. It's one of those movies that I kind of always felt like I should, but I never got around to it. I saw this one with my partner. I just recommend everyone watch it. It's freaking great. Yeah. In fact, I think you've told me like a bunch of times that I should have seen this. So I have. I guess it's about yeah. time. So you don't know anything about this movie, eh? I mean, I know that she works for a fashion magazine. Yes. Okay. And her boss sucks. I mean, well, no, yeah. It's more complicated than that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, so they're like, they're making the comparison between her and other women, I suppose. Well, so she's a normal girl and everyone else yeah. is. She's not like other girls. Right. Oh, okay. And I'm assuming at least some of these are characters that we're going to see more later on. I honestly don't remember. Cool. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. The, the diets. Could say that she's pretty underground. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to say that. So, so what? She works for like a proper publication right now. I think she might be there to do an interview. Okay. Human resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. Brutal. <laughs> Emily Blunt. <laughs> Oh, and you're replacing yourself. Well, I am trying. Miranda sacked the last two girls after a few weeks. Oh, okay. Who's Miranda? I will pretend you did not just ask me that. A million girls would kill for this job. Well, you'd kill a million girls for this job. <laughs> Ooh. Interest in fashion is crucial. What makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? <laughs> sure. I mean... <laughs> not saying anything. Somehow so much worse. No, no! What's wrong? She's like, I cannot explain this to you. Oh. She cometh. She's on her way. Tell everyone. The devil? Yes. Cool. In Prada, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's a movie. <laughs> I know. Oh, I love Stanley Tucci. Did someone eat an onion bagel? Ooh. Onion bagel. No one else eats onion bagels here. Huh. I've never heard of one of those. I'm guessing it's just a bagel that has onion on it. Mm. And maybe other things, I'm hoping. Oh. Um, because... That would be so weird. Do people eat bagels with just onions on them? <laughs> They're not even cooked onions. Yeah, just yeah, raw, just onion raw onion on a bagel. On a bagel. <laughs> no butter. Nah, dry. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl Streep's character is based on Anne Wintour. Yeah, no, I mean, I know that, but I don't know enough about who she is because that's, you know, I don't read... Vogue. Magazines. This place is Vogue, right. basically. Yeah, it's kind of that whole, um, Jesus is coming, look busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, Everyone's wow. It's like, the devil is coming, look fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I want that on a t-shirt. Call Natalie at Gloria's Foods and tell her no. Call my husband. Ask him to please meet me for dinner at that place I went to with Massimo. Is it impossible to find a lovely, slender female paratrooper? No. I think I would actually just have an aneurysm. Sure. Listening to that. And knowing I had to write it all down. Yeah, see, I can't write that quickly. Yeah, I'd get carpal tunnel, I then an aneurysm, then Some died. people can write that quickly, though. Oh, yeah. So, good for them. She can. Yeah. Who is that? Nobody. <laughs> Human Resources Center off about their new assistant job. She's the only person for this interview. I'm going to have to do that myself. The last two you sent me were completely inadequate. That's all. Oh, yeah. That fucking line. That's all. I'm guessing you hear that a bit. Oh, yes. Yeah, it makes sense. This is foul. Don't let her see you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get the filth out of here. And what are you doing here? I came to New York to be a journalist and finally got a call from Elias Clark and met with Sherry up at Human Resources. And this is a lot of story. So you don't read Runway? Uh, Wolf. No. And before today, you had never heard of me. I'm going to get the feeling she might like this. And you have no style or sense of fashion. Interested at least. She's thinking blank slate, right? I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. <laughs> mm. Birthless. I also uh, won a national competition with my series on the janitor's union. She's not impressed. Which exposed the That's exploitation all. of... <laughs> you're done. <laughs> then needs another rest. Okay. You're right. I don't fit in here. Oh, she's going to like this. I'm smart and I will work right, very hard. I've got hard. the exclusive. Thank you for your time. 
Hmm. Briefly assertive for a second. Are we doing a before and after piece I don't know about? Oh. Rough, dude. Miranda Priestly is famous for being unpredictable. How is it that you know who she is and I didn't? I'm actually a girl. It's gonna be so progressive. Well, look, you gotta start somewhere, right? Look at this dump Nate works in. <laughs> Shit on the restaurant that you're eating at. I already have my dream job. Your corporate research analyst. <laughs> oh, you're right, my job sucks. Oh, that's rough. I mean, that's normal, though. Let's be honest. He's the relatable guy, right? Oh, yeah. I think the whole group is meant to be like, the relatable down-to-earth people. People. Right. They're just like us. Yeah. Right. Because we also hate our jobs. Yeah. I happen to think you look great always. Aww. I think you're full of it. <laughs> you know what? Me too. I no, don't he, trust you, buddy. No, he kind of is. Oh, he is full of it? I, oh, I yeah, don't. Don't tell me. Yeah. Don't tell me some I'm shit. Gonna tell you. What's wrong with you? You need to come into the office right this second and you pick up her coffee order on the way. Hold on. This is a very difficult job. And if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now hang that up. Don't just fling it anywhere. Well, you know what? You should just fling it now. <laughs> just... At least she's being clear, like, this is going to affect me too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get yeah. Get your shit together. Yeah, actually. If I'm not here, you are chained to that desk. What if I need to... What? No. You don't need to do anything. Remember, you and I have totally different jobs. I'm in charge of her schedule, her appointments and her expenses, and um, I get to go with her to Paris for Fashion Week. Why do I feel like that's not how it's going to be? Yeah. It's going to be the opposite of that. Because it's a movie. Yeah. I have seen movies before. Yeah. <laughs> going to the art department to give them I the know book. she's supposed to be terrible, but I love her. I think Emily Blunt's one of my favorite characters in this movie. I don't think she's <laughs> terrible at all. I think she's just stressed out. This is the book. Now, it is a mock-up, and we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night, and she returns... Don't touch it. She returns it to us in the morning with her note. <laughs> Don't sunny it with your filthy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily, what do I deal with it? Yep. Fuck. Just answer the phone. Hello, Mrs. Priestley's office. That's what I meant, Miranda Priestley's office. Wow. Whoops. Can I please take a message? Huh? She's the computer man. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can you please spell Gabbana? Oh. <gasps> oh. What? Oh my God. See, this is why oh experience boy. matters. I guessed an eight and a half. Um. Wow, that's very nice of you, but he's, oh, not, he's being not being nice. nice. Don't think I need these. No. You do. She knows what I look like. Nope. Mm. Do you? Oh. <laughs> Rough. Emily. She means you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tone there you are emily how many times do i have to scream your name actually it's andy my name is andy andrea everybody calls me andy oh that's actually her name i need 10 or 15 skirts from calvin klein okay what kind of skirts do you please bore someone else <laughs> did demarchelier confirm <laughs> language are you speaking woman See, this is why you need to write stuff down and emily yes Shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad that she was smart enough to not like be rude about the shoes and try and like chuck them or something. She needs skirts from Calvin Klein. Oh. Did she say which skirts? No. I tried to ask her, you but never. I will deal with all of this and you will go to Calvin Klein. You're going to get skirts, not bad ones. <laughs> okay. But honestly, like, look, they're aware that she doesn't know what kinds of skirts are better than other skirts. And yet, <laughs> it's just like, dude, this is the deep end. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ashley forgot her whole look at Dalton. Pick that up. Miranda went out to meet with my Zell, and she will want more Starbucks when she gets back. Can you just repeat that first? No. Nope. Mm -mm. Is this her, the new me? Hi. I thought you were kidding. <laughs> no, quite serious. She looks familiar. She does. But I don't know where from. When I come back, you can go. Okay. What is she wearing? <laughs> her grandmother's skirt. <laughs> it's gonna be like that. Woof. Yo, yeah. And none of the girls here eat anything? Not since two became the new four and zero became the new two. What now? I mean, okay, I know what he mean, but... I'm a six. Which is the new 14. That Jesus the Christ. smallest size we sell at our fucking shop. Yeah, that's intense. Oh, never mind. I'm sure you had plenty more poly blend where that came from yeah she probably does i'm going to be in fashion forever i don't really see the point of changing everything about myself just because i have this job that's really what this industry is all about anyway isn't it inner beauty <laughs> biting that's some truth though mm -hmm. hello god that ring <laughs> that is a fucking championship ring my guy Dude. you're already late Come. What fucking title did you win for that ring? <laughs> Best dressed. <laughs> right. I'm pretty nice. sure. Fred Miranda killed autumn jackets and pulled up the Sedona shoot. What's that costing me? About 300000 Ah. Must have been some lousy jackets. Is this the owner? Yeah, I think so. All right. We have some right here. I think it can be very interesting. No. With... 
<laughs> Try again. Why is it so impossible to put together a decent run through? I love how Miranda's just the embodiment of that meme. Know your place, trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have some pieces from Banana Re what are, What's up with her glasses, though? It's a tough call. They're so different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Something funny? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember where you are. You know, it's just... The Fuck, the look on her face, though. That's good acting. Both those belts look exactly the same. It looks like a child that's been caught out with a hand of the cookie jar. Still learning about this stuff. This stuff? I see. You think this has nothing to do with you. It's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry. You're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. Fair enough. I love how not even we dare to interrupt her. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to let her finish. <laughs> uh, is... Let the woman speak. It's harsh, but it's kind of true. Either get with it or accept that you're bad at it and be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> What you doing with that toast, man? It's a grilled cheese sandwich. Ah. Uh, it's not funny. Uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> they all act like they're curing cancer or something. The Some of them could be. You wouldn't know. Exactly. You sell people things they don't need. Look, it's fine to have an opinion. I just don't like when people shit on stuff that they just don't understand. Yeah. Learn about it and then shit on it. Mm. <laughs> Especially when the assumption is, it takes no effort. I just have to stick it out for a year. And then I can do what I came to New York to do. Um, but I can't let Miranda get to me. A year is a long time. Yep. Just a year. You are gonna conform real quick. Oh, good morning, Miranda. Let me ask a Excuse me. In the lingerie shirt. That reminds me of JD and Cox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the female equivalent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, except she's not fawning over her as much. <laughs> Fair. And then go get Patricia. Who's that? Oh. Girl, go. Oh. 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 Poppy. Some reservation for dinner tonight at that point. Get me ice. <laughs> I love how a different jack in the bag every time. Oh, yeah. You don't use them twice, right? <laughs> Get me the most yeah, you, you know you're that. rich when your clothes are basically condoms. Oh. You're not using that shit twice. <laughs> oh, don't describe it like that. <laughs> I have Miranda Priestley calling for... I'll never see clothes again the same. <laughs> hey, I see that kind of wealth just as gross. Thank God it's Friday, right? This means nothing. At least Miranda will be in Miami, so we don't have to be on call this weekend. Um... You know, my dad's coming in from Ohio. You doing anything fun this weekend? Yes. Uh, but I know that's supposed to be mean, but honestly, I don't make friends at work, so I can relate. I don't think that this girl's a bitch. Is she supposed to be that? Is she supposed to be like the antagonist? Play? No, really. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Helping her out. A little bit of extra money. It's really good to see you. You too, honey. I mean, does this job not pay okay? She is still a secretary? Maybe not. But it's for this magazine, though? Wouldn't you get paid well enough? When has the size of the company ever dictated the size of the paycheck? <laughs> Point taken. Yeah. It's okay, go right ahead. We're just a little worried, honey. Especially in the lower end jobs. Mm. Yeah. Your pay is terrible. There it is. Emily is going to Paris with Miranda in a few months. She's going to meet editors from every important magazine in a year that could be made. Oh, that's the play. So that she can work for another magazine that's yeah. not fashion, I'm guessing. But just the roundabout way, you know? <laughs> oh, if I go on this trip mm. in a year, maybe if I'm not fired before then. Yeah, My that's flight a has been cancelled. Oh. Oh, no. Absolutely. Oh. Let me see what I can do. Good. Okay. Holy crap. You are back on call. For tonight, from Miami to New York. And that's why Emily didn't say anything. Yeah. About the weekend. And I know that she's applying to your... So this is what I was thinking. It's like, as soon as you think you have your break, you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's and these kinds of industries, especially, it's like, mm -hmm. no, you're 24-7. It's just, I don't know, drizzling. Jesus. Get me home. Oh, my God. Who flies in this weather? What does she want you to do? Have her airlifted out of there? Of course not. Um. Could I do that? <laughs> I love how you slowly see, like, the indoctrination. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. They played Rachmaninoff. Everyone loved it. Everyone. Wait, so she pulled it off? Yeah, she did. Sadly, I was not oh, there. She didn't. Do you know why I hired you? I always hire the same girl. Worships the magazine, but so often they turn out to be... Not prepared for the job. Not prepared for you. Mm. I thought you would be different. Trying to someone smarter. I said to myself, go ahead. Take a chance. She's painting herself as the victim. I had hope. Like you let me down. I saw greatness in you. You ended up disappointing me. More than any of the other silly girls. Oh, okay. She's going to cry. Um. No. I really did everything I could think of. Uh, mm. That's all. 
Oh, Jesus. I mean, I know in her own way she's pushing her to step up, but like, goddamn. Yeah, brutal. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Bathroom to cry? Copy room to cry. Yeah, any room to cry. And she's, you know, running the cr the <laughs> There's a crying room. <laughs> <laughs> they know this happens a lot. <laughs> it's like third door on the left. I somewhat expected that to be a real thing. She hates me, Nigel. I think she actually likes you a lot. And that's my problem because... <laughs> Wait, no. It's no, not I, my I problem. Really... Ruthless. Killer. I do something right. It's unacknowledged. If I do something wrong, she is vicious. Because it's just the expectation. You're just passing the mark. <laughs> Quit. I can get another girl to take your job in five minutes. One who really wants it. Mm -hmm. I would just like a little credit for the fact that I'm killing myself trying. Be serious. You are not trying. You I... are whining. Brutal. Do you want me to say poor you? Hmm? Wake up. Six. She's just doing her job. God damn it, dude. Don't you know that you were working at the place that published some of the greatest artists of the century? And what they did was greater than art. Because you live your life in it. Well, not you, obviously. <laughs> some people. Better people. <laughs> yeah, the higher echelon. This is a shining beacon of hope for... Let's say a young boy growing up in Rhode Island with six brothers reading Runway under the covers at night with a flashlight. Wow. Mm -hmm. This place where so many people would die to work, you only deign to work. And you want to know why she doesn't kiss you on the forehead and give you a gold star. Fucking lay it down, Nige. So fucking brutal, but... So accurate. Like I said, man, in those industries, it's all the way up. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm definitely sort of thinking about like it would be the same in the music industry. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about, you know, you have an audition for new band members and five of the dudes who turned up didn't learn any of the material. They turn up yeah. and they're like, so uh, what are we playing, guys? Yeah. Like, um, Let's just jam we're, it out. We're not playing shit, man. <laughs> You're going home. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, sweetheart. All right. Chin up, kid. Okay, so I'm screwing it up. I just wish that I knew what I could do to... Read more magazines. Get invested. Care more. Nigel. No. <laughs> There's nothing in this whole closet that'll fit a size six, I can guarantee you. She, she's the fuck. smallest size. That's one thing, right. though. She's not. She's so skinny. What the fuck, man? A poncho. You'll take what I give you and you'll like it. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't get to argue here. Well, I guess now she's trying, but this is what I was expecting. I have no idea why Miranda hired her. From the moment I saw her, she was going to be a complete and utter disaster. Yep, things have changed. It's kind of got a school feel to it because of that blazer. But, but chic. Oh, no, it's good. But Fashion it's school. For sure. No, actually, she's not available, but I'll leave word. They're a little bit too blown away, though. Didn't you think this was going to happen sooner or later? They did not. Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. Oh, that's where that line is from. I see that in memes. <laughs> I guess they weren't expecting her to pull together a look like that. Take care of that finger, huh? Well, to be fair, did she do it or did well, no, Nigel she, do yeah, it? Yeah, no, Nigel did it. And that's exactly why <laughs> they were caught off guard. <laughs> she yeah. cheated, essentially. Yeah, she's a ringer. Oh, wow, yeah, he didn't recognize her. Because now she's all fashioned up. Yep. What do you think? Ah, uh, I think we better get out of here before my girlfriend sees me. <laughs> that's a smooth line. <laughs> Still, I don't like this guy. Yeah, no, you'll see why. Cool. Good to know. It's just, you can tell. Yeah. You know? To be fair, he's not horrible. Just, All right. you'll see. Hold on, her pay is shit. How can she afford all these clothes? This is one of those things like, how did the friends from Friends afford their apartment? Yeah. Nigel is hooking her the fuck up. Yeah. We're gonna use the burgundy. Hey, someone put an effort. I She's happy. Mm. There you go. All she wanted was for you to step up to the plate. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like not going to your job with your uniform. It's just like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Presents for Ooh. all of you. Are they fashion presents? Little thing. Ooh, someone. She likes it. Yeah, <laughs> she does. This bag is like $1,900. I cannot take this from you. I mean, I mean you're currently <laughs> exactly. in the process of doing that, in there. <laughs> You have one, you put all your junk in it, and you're done. Fashion is not about utility. An accessory is merely a piece of iconography. Also, it looks nice. That's true. Nate. I can see where this is going. Yes. Cool. Yep, the dragon oh, lady. Let me talk to her. No, okay, I need that. Um, don't fuck with that. Um. Phone. 
No. Dude, like, no. no. You're I screwing with her job. Do you think someone who gets this kind of perks has that kind of luxury with I the phone? I know, and that's the shitty thing about her friends in this. They take all the benefits, but then they give a crap for it. Mm, yeah, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, see, their faces th that's currently. bullshit. He looks like, um, not Ben Stiller. Um, Will Ferrell? Yeah, he looks in like, Zoolander. Yeah, he looks like Will Ferrell in Zoolander. Nice. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Wait, is that boring Brad? <gasps> Brad returns? <laughs> yes, it is. <gasps> the Bradening? It's from Ghost of Girlfriends Park. Oh guys. my god. Wait, wait, wait. Back. No, sorry. Charming Brad. Charming Brad. He evolved, and he evolved again into fashionable Brad. <laughs> Who made that fantastic thing? You. Mm. Duh. Uh, okay, a little bit pretentious. Yeah, well, I mean, you're going to get that, aren't you? I don't know. At the same time, it gets to a point where it's like you've earned the bragging rights, you know? I know. I totally. I'll guard it with my life. I'm always less mad at someone for bragging about the thing that they're actually great at. Yeah. You're working for Miranda Priestley now. You must be in desperate need of hard liquor. It's deadly. Have fun. He seems decent regardless. I dragged it to James's last party. I woke up in Hoboken wearing nothing but a poncho. Who is this? New guy. Why do I know new guy? Wait, is that that Aussie dude? Simon something? Sure. Looks kind of Aussie. I am um, a writer too. Is that right? Well, I should read your stuff. Why don't you send it over? Yeah. Because she doesn't have anything right now. Oh, wow. That's why. Did she say why? I love that suit. Yeah, she explained every detail of her decision making. And then we brushed each other's hair and gabbed about American Idol. I see your point. I love how she's like... She's got it now. Yeah. There's a scale. One nod is good. Two nods. It's very good. There's only been one actual smile on record, and that was Tom Ford in 2001. <gasps> God damn. There's the pursing of the lips. Which means? She hates it. Catastrophe. She hates it. Yep. Just go. Oh, no. Man, the details of body language. Yeah. So because she pursed her lips, he's going to change his entire collection? Her opinion is the only one that matters. It's like fucking criminal minds. <laughs> Analyzing. <laughs> oh, right. That was like, I don't watch that. <laughs> All right. I've already messengered your outfit over to the shoot. Andrea, I would like you to deliver the book to my home tonight. Oh, someone got her oh. name. That, and she's letting her go to a house. Guard this with your life. Of course. Oh, and you know she called me Andrea? Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, whoopee. Not great for Emily. Oh, I love that fucking expression. <laughs> it's very important that you do exactly what I'm about to tell you. The book is assembled by 10. Now the car will take you straight to Miranda's townhouse. You do not talk to anyone. You must be invisible. Do you understand? Uh. Guess what she does. Oh, the opposite of that? I could picture this one happening. You don't get a big break in a movie without it going wrong. You leave the book on the table with the flowers. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, that's right. She wasn't very specific. Shit! Is that door to the left? Nice. Oh. Not so much. Oh, wait, are they fucking with her? You can give the book to us. No. Nope. It's okay. No, 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 they can't. It's okay. Come on. No. No, now they're screwing with her. Or you could bring the book upstairs. Emily does it all the time. No, she no, doesn't. No, she doesn't. Right, she does. Dude, come on. Ooh. So obviously fucking lying to you. Oh, no. You have to be able to tell. Because kids aren't good at lying. Yeah. I sat there waiting for you for almost an hour. Dude, the second you see them, you should just go back downstairs. Get a signal out. Run away. Silently. Ooh. Oh, right in the middle of a fucking argument. Oh. I'm sorry, dude. The eyes. It's over. The eyes. It's too late. Oh my Run god. Away. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, at that point, it was screwed anyway. There's no right answer. Okay, okay. No. Mm -hmm. The twins said hello, so I said hello back, and then I... Ignore the twins. I made a mistake. I know. It's a big one. She's gonna fire me? I don't know. She's not happy. Andrea. Oh, dear. Don't go to... through someone's house. It's Especially not to... your fucking boss. It's time to face the music. I need the new Harry Potter book for the twins. I'll go down to Barnes Noble right now. Did you fall down and smack your little head on the pavement? Yes. Just say yes. Not that I can recall. Oh... You want the unpublished manuscript? You can do anything, right? Oh, the impossible task. I can call freaking J.K. Rowling or something. I'm not going to get a copy of that book. Yeah, you better. And I would like my steak here in 15 minutes. Hey, she's giving you a chance. Yeah. 
A fucked up chance. A small chance. Still a chance. I will be back in 15 minutes. Go hard, dude. Wish me luck. No, shan't. <laughs> Fair enough. Shan't. I don't care what her name is in the movie. It's blunt. I love it when they give an actor the same character name as their yeah. real name. Every time Charlie Sheen plays anyone, he's always he's Charlie. Because he won't respond if you call him anything else. Oh, she knows a writer. Scarf guy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Potter manuscript? Oh, you're kidding. I am desperate. I'll just tell her it can't be done. You'll have to come up with a plan B. Nope. There is no plan B. Miranda Priestley, we're talking about. There's only plan A. Here you go. I'm it's, glad she knows this now. There's only plan Miranda. Am I fired? You have got to calm down. Bloody. <laughs> Stressing her out. All right. Well, she got one part of it down. What's that? I'm having lunch with Irv. I'll be back at three. And if you don't have that Harry Potter book by then, don't even bother coming back. And there it is. I mean, that is the uh, main task here. The big mission. Quit? Are you sure? I failed. She's going to fire me anyway. Wow. Congratulations. You're free. Oh. Mm. Because you're becoming someone that he didn't want you to be. Yeah. I'm brilliant. Monuments should be erected in my honor. You didn't. Oh, yes. He did. Yes, he did. Friend of a friend does the cover art, and she happens to have the manuscript. No way. Like, you want this thing, you better hurry. I'll meet you at the St. Regis. Take the manuscript or not. It's do or die time. Time to do. Because the thing is, you could have quit at any time, man. Mm -hmm. Why would you quit now? Yeah. You're on the precipice of greatness. <laughs> Tis in your grasp, and hath a will, and hath a way. Fuck you. <laughs> that one's not mine. Not one I've seen around. <laughs> okay, all right. Still. Yeah, still fuck you. <laughs> you have one hour. Thank you. Wait, is she going to, like, copy it, or how's this going to work? She's got one hour with the manuscript. What are my twins going to do with that? <sighs> Share. Oh, I made two copies and had them covered, reset, and bound so that they wouldn't look like manuscripts. She did. Well, where are these fabulous copies? There was the twins. That's stepping up to the plate. Oh. Now on the train on the way to Grandma's. Wow. Is there anything else I can do for you? Ah, oh, look at that fucking smug look. You earned mm -hmm. it. That's all. Well, she's trying not to smile. <laughs> she's actively holding it back. Don't you love how, like, the that's all was good this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's colors to it. There's <laughs> shades. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I figure since you quit your job, we should celebrate. No. Wait a minute. You quit your job, but you're still working on a twin science project? Well, that's big of you. Dude. It doesn't make sense throwing away all those months of hard work. And she said she only wanted to do this for a year. Yeah, exactly. And that it was for mm -hmm. her career overall. Yeah. Yeah. What pisses me off about him mm. is that you could interpret him being like, hey, congratulations, you quit your job. Mm. You were really suffering mm. there. And that's supportive. Sure, sure. But the second it's something he doesn't want to hear, mm. oh, that's big of you. Yeah. Fuck yourself, mm. you fluffy head fuck. Your job sucks and your boss is a wacko. I mean, maybe she wants this job. Aww. I'm still the same person I was. No, you're not. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I know. Same Andy. Better clothes. <laughs> I like the old clothes. See, that's something you always got to fucking look out for. Mm. Like, I get loving someone for who they are and not wanting them to put on a fake persona, but... Like what it is, is he doesn't want her to grow because he's not growing. Oh, exactly. And that's why you, when people are like, man, you've changed. It's... Really think about what they're saying what when they're they really say that. What they're saying is that they haven't. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm. That shit pisses me off. There is one other thing that's new that I thought you might oh, like. She's, she's got lingerie. What about this? See, again, you can't take the perks and still complain. Yeah. But now it's all better. Yeah, he's hyped about it now. Yeah. Come on, bro. I mean, don't get me wrong. While I Ooh, understand snake. things a lot better now, this is still confusing as fuck to me. <laughs> Sensory overload. <laughs> yeah, a little too much deep end right here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yes, the modern woman unleashes the animal within. Alrighty then. Sometimes I can't believe I talk about this crap all day. <laughs> Make sure Miranda gets these as soon as possible and tell her that I switched in the Dior for the Rochat. Great, can't wait. Excuse me, can we adjust the attitude? I don't think she can. My personal life is hanging by a thread, that's all. And that's what happens when you start doing well at work, darling. Fucking... It's rough that that's true. So true. Even just when you start doing well, period. It's funny how much stuff tends Other to things. come up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suggested that Testino shoot them at the Noguchi Garden. Perfect. Thank God somebody came to work today. Fuck, she doesn't praise people that often. No. Take the wind, Nige. They're showing a lot of florals right now, so I was thinking I can do a shoot. For spring. 
groundbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, even I get that. Yeah. And the more raw, rough human background. Oh, um, no. Oh, Emily, what's Shoot. going on? With patient zero here. Why are you walking into the room more coffee like that? Because this is the kind of industry that doesn't allow for sick days. I know, but you know you have to play it down. How's the cold doing? Like death warmed up. You know what this job is. Yeah. I need to get to Magnolia Bakery before it closes. It's Nate's birthday tonight. She needs help. Yeah, I'm hearing this and I want to hear this. I've always loved that. I love my job. I love my job. Oh, Ooh. do you? You better. If you have to tell yourself that you love your job, maybe you don't. Hello? Miranda called her directly, didn't she? I, I thought that only the first assistant went to the benefit. Only when the first assistant hasn't decided to become an incubus of viral plague. <laughs> decided to. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> it's a choice. Fucking hell. That's how it works. That's all. That's all. You better just start without me, okay? Andy. It's his birthday. The, I'll call you the second I'm leaving, okay? Oh, see, the birthday thing, that is shitty to miss someone's mm. birthday. But dude, again, we know going in, she's got a year. Yeah. It's like, hey, if she keeps going past the year, then you can start to question, like, what's up? Yeah, these kinds of industries, these kinds of jobs and stuff, it's like, dude, what? I'm dead. I don't exist. We know what the goal is. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. It's like that How I Met Your Mother situation where Marshall and Lily are just like, eight or above, guys. Yeah. Eight or above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And you look so chic. Hard, oh, thanks. We're doing this twice. You look so thin. Do I? <laughs> well, I'm on this new diet. I don't eat anything. I know just what to say to a girl. And when I feel like I'm about to faint, I eat a cube of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Okay>. crap. <laughs> John Folger, the new artist at Retro. John. Hey there. I love that she doesn't remember them. Of course. Why would she? Yeah. She's got too much going on. I'm sorry. I'm so late. Dude, no. Yeah. In this situation, it's like, no, you're not coming. You can't do both. If anything, it would piss people off more if you're saying, oh, I, I'll come, I'll, I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there. Jacqueline Follet from French Runway. Oh my God, Miranda hates I did. Oh, yeah. Well, you know now. We're so happy that you were able to come to our little gathering. Of course. I planned my whole year around this. Oh. <laughs> we're so grateful that you do. Oh, man. You can just hear the venom on her words. Mm. We'll discuss it on Wednesday. Yes. I agree. No business tonight. I mean, isn't it all business all the time? Let's oh, be yes. real. We just pretend. Mm. Oh, my God. I just can't remember what his name is. Come on. Time to step up. Um, it's Ambassador Franklin. She could have just like jumped in straight away instead of letting her stumble for so but long. To be fair, she probably wanted to give her a chance to pick it up. True. She's like, hey, you've got this, you got this. Oh, you don't got you this. You don't got this. I've got this, it's cool. <laughs> Teammates, kind of. Yeah. Hello. You're a vision. Dude, it's Anne fucking Hathaway. She's always a vision. My editor for New York Magazine is inside and, you know, I could introduce you. See, this is why you just say you can't come. Okay, yeah, I guess I could for one. No, I can't. I'm sorry, but I have to Your go. Your friends should understand. Dude, like, I would be pissed if my friend came to a party and be like, oh yeah, I blew off this huge opportunity to make all my dreams come true just to be at this fucking party. Are you fucking for real, man? Like, bro, what the fuck? Seriously? Yeah. But I'll have other birthdays. Knock on wood. I mean, I I assume. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it the boyfriend's birthday? Yes. Ooh. That's why it was so important. Mm -hmm. I still stand by everything I said. No, I completely agree. He's the one who should understand the most. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh. I kept trying to leave, but there was. I can't a even lot call going. you Bud because we're not friends. Yeah. I go to bed. Yeah, you should. Can we at least talk about this? Well, actually, you know what? She deserves the talk. Yeah. I just want to get rid of him. You look really pretty. Oh, there he goes. That's yeah. shitty. If you don't want to talk, then that's kind of it, mm. you know? Hey, if you can't talk through your problems, you're not going to get through them. I know they're trying to be like, oh, but she went back for that extra drink. But I'm like, dude, dude oh, no. no, she didn't go back for the extra drink. I don't even care. Yeah. I think she should have taken it. And I think he needs to get his shit together. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what you turned down the opportunity of a lifetime for. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. Despair his fucking feelings. Yeah. Andrea? Yeah. Step into my lair. <laughs> Paris is the most important week of my entire year. I need the best possible team with me. That no longer includes Emily. Ooh. Here we go. Miranda, uh, Emily would die. Her whole life is about Paris. She hasn't eaten in weeks. I can't. If you don't go, I'll assume you're not serious about your future. Mm -hmm. And this is that cutthroat shit. See, here's the thing. I get this because you know what? It's the playoffs and she's LeBron. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I understand that. <laughs> Basketball people will get it. I know they will. <laughs> this is just that shit that you have to reconcile. Mm -hmm. If you're in that kind of job, then it's like, well, can you? 
Yeah. I mean, Can you do this? That's the thing. If you're going to be in this job, you have to understand that the job needs to be done. And it doesn't matter why you failed to do the job. It doesn't matter if it wasn't your fault. Well, it's not even so much failure. It's just you can do it or you can't do it. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. But I mean, again, I get this from a sports perspective because sometimes dudes just they are not right for the role or they get injured. And it's like, oh, what yeah. are you going to do? I feel like this is a bit more personal, but still. Well, no, it's not because someone else is going to step oh, up and right. take the yeah, plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get what you mean now. I'm going to bed anytime soon. Five minutes, okay? It's like the minutes need to be played. Either you're gonna play him or someone else is gonna yeah. play him. I thought they keep trying to play him as a victim, and I'm like, he sucks though. <laughs> is that what they're doing? I mean, like, I mean, yeah, I they, guess, I guess, you know what? Uh, Other people would see him as the victim. Yeah, sure. yeah. I just see him as the selfish dude who, like, will not compromise for anyone else. Yeah, because most importantly, yeah. he won't compromise for the person he supposedly loves the most. Yeah. Don't forget to tell Emily. Oh, she's the one who has to do it. Do it now. Fuck. But hang on, the has Jack Emily been fired or has she no, just been she's, demoted? she's just not going. So she's still... Yeah. Okay. I think it's basically like... Emily! Hi, hi. Andrea's the first assistant now. I need to talk to you. But then I called Martine at home and she... Tell her. Ugh, there is never a good time. Just rip off the band-aid. It's gotta be done. When you come in, there's something we I have to talk to you about. Dude. Good, because I've got so much to deal with. Just fucking tell her. <gasps> Oh crap, I forgot about that. I guess that solves the issue. Can't go to Paris now. <laughs> hey, what was I just saying? Sometimes your teammate gets injured. Yeah, yeah. You should have said no. No, she still told her. I didn't have a choice. That is a pathetic excuse. Come on. You know this is the game. Do you know what really just gets me about this whole thing? You don't really care about fashion. You, you just want to be a journalist. I See, that would bite mm -hmm. so hard. Mm. You sold your soul the day you put on that first pair of Jimmy Choo's. Emily, just go. This one's just a rough one to me. It's rough, it is. I totally understand her feelings, but at the same time, this is the job. Yeah. It sucks. If it wasn't her, it was going to be someone else. Yeah. That's the coolest fashion event of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you going to see, Galliano and Lagerfeld? Yep. And I like see, that this guy's hired. Yeah, he at least appreciates it. Because mm, he knows why it's mm. important. Okay. Art and sex, lead the way. See you later. <laughs> okay. okay. I have no idea what he just said. Art and sex. Oh. Oh, of course. Look who it is. I knew it. I <laughs> fucking knew it. Hard at lurk. Oh, he is. He's lurking hard. <laughs> Just thinking about you. Oh, come on. Making my Paris plans, I found myself wondering if uh, you were going to be there. I'm staying in a fantastic little hotel in the set. Mm. Such intense fuckboy vibes. <laughs> Not to find someone else's life to change. I'm beginning to wonder if I can. See, I like him less now. Yeah, you like him a lot less now. But she likes it. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I could completely understand why she likes it. Her current boyfriend's like uh, shutting her out. Yeah. Really? And see, yeah, this is normally on paper I would be like, oh yeah, that's scummy, yeah. but. Hey, context then. Yeah. The Andy I know is madly in love with Nate. I don't know. Why? He, why? He sucks. For the last 16 years, I've known everything about that Andy, but this glamazon skulks around in corners with some random hot fashion guy? I don't get her. Maybe you should take a little time to learn. Have fun in Paris. All that came off to me as, oh, you dress different now, and I don't like that. Yeah, again, you've changed in a way that doesn't suit me. You going to Paris? Uh, yeah. Oh, she didn't tell him. <laughs> I thought Paris was a big deal for Emily. Or... And I'm gonna give me a hard time too. Yeah, he was about to do that. That's your answer for everything lately. I didn't oh, have a choice. Yeah, like, you don't make it. these decisions okay. yourself. Oh, fuck off, my guy. Ugh. And I'm sorry. Come on, what, what am I for? Yeah. Yeah, apparently. That's what I'm seeing right now. I wouldn't care if you were out there pole dancing all night, as long as you did it with a little integrity. Um, dude. You used to make fun of the runway girls. Now you've become one of them. She learned? Yeah. She opened her fucking mind a little bit? Things change, bro. Just own up to it. And then we can stop pretending like we have anything in common anymore. Ah, uh, see, that's, again, this is exactly what we're saying. He's mad because she's changing and he's not. Yeah. Maybe this trip is coming at a good time. Maybe we should take a break. Mm, maybe you should. Yep. Nate. Oh, imagine if instead of the paper, she was just like, Nate, that's all. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> the person whose calls you always take, that's the relationship you're in. That is true. That is fair. He's the first the right thing he said in a while. So. Yeah, that's just the way you got to see it. Mm, it is the truth. But again, if this was for life, I would have a whole different mindset here. 
Yeah. But if you're talking about one year to get an opportunity, that's <sighs> another story. Just to play devil's advocate, I guess what they mean is like this was only meant to be a stepping stone yeah. and you're just being so immersed in it. But it's like, if that's what she wants and yeah. she's found actually, hey, you know what? I actually like this. I'm into this. Yeah. Then it's like, bro. You got to find a way to make it work. Come on. Just the thing that bothers me is that he's not doing anything to try yeah, and no. fit in with her yeah no not he's at not all there's any no compromises, compromises zero like changes yeah. he's not learning anything about yeah. it he's not changing anything fucking so someone he's important. italian you know one of those fucking old italian dudes yeah pretty much <laughs> he looks like someone i'm related to probably gonna get roasted in the comments for not knowing who that was i mean <laughs> if anyone gives me shit i feel like they've been watching the wrong channel <laughs> yeah, that's fair i've been thinking you still owe me for harry mm. potter Oh, do I? I? I don't know. I don't like the way you've been thinking, man. Yeah. Although I guess she is technically single now. Even He doesn't know that, though. Yeah. Find out that she's single and then, you know, do your thing. Yeah, see. Wait, don't tell me the boyfriend no blue. Okay. He's finding out now. What time should I pick you up? Still, though. I'll call you. Yeah, this is a... Very immediate. Yeah. The first second, the first hint yeah. that she might be available. It's oh, like, mm -mm. dude, even before that, he was uh, skulking around. This guy's been... Uh, Hard to look. Mm. Oh, there you are. Oh. <clears throat> What's wrong? We need to go over the seating chart. What's really wrong? Yeah. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. I love how she's just being biting at this point for the sake of it. Yeah. It's not even any real effort in it. <laughs> mm. Stephen isn't coming. Oh. Yeah. I had a feeling. Met Stephen from the airport tomorrow? If you speak to him and he decides to rethink the divorce. That makes sense. That's mm. right. This is the problem with being married to the job. And then when we get back to New York, we need to contact um, Leslie. And that's what I like. They humanized her. Mm -hmm. They showed that Andy is pretty much in the same position mm. as Miranda. Mm -hmm. Like they're mm. essentially the same process. They deal with the just same different shit. Points in time. You think like, yeah, just different stages of mm -hmm. the development. That's all. And I, I love that. Another divorce? Splashed across page six. Snow Queen drives away another Mr. Priestley. It's just so unfair to the girls. Another letdown, another father. They're the ones who get dragged through it. I appreciate that she cares about that. Yeah. The point is, we really need to figure out where yeah, it's placed right on back the into it. And that's the penny drop moment. Mm -hmm. It's just, you are not allowed to have those moments. And this is why I say, if it's a legitimate one year thing, Go hard. Is there anything else I can do? But if you want to do this for life, then you need to be aware of the reality. Your job. That's all. And yeah, your job. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's kind of like Miss Congeniality. A little bit, yeah. I need Miranda's itinerary for tomorrow. And I love that the realization wasn't, oh, my boyfriend, though. Mm -hmm. Let me see you turn. <laughs> I think that my work here is done. Hmm. <laughs> Seal of approval. Oh, the mentor is happy. Yeah. We are toasting, my dear, to the dream job that a million girls wanted. Which I got months ago. I'm not talking about you. Oh, him. Yeah, Andy, it's not, everything's about you. God. Massimo Cortellone is investing in James's company, and James needs a partner. That partner would be me. Uh, you, yes. Nigel. Miranda knows. She put me up for it. I can't imagine runway without I, you. I'm so excited, though. This is the bigger and better things that they yeah. were talking about. For the first time in 18 years, I'm going to be able to call the shots in my own life. 18 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just working at it. Congratulations. Huh? You deserve it. Hey, the hustle is real. Oh, yes. Yes, there are things that Miranda does that I don't agree with. You hate her. Just admit it to me. No. She's a notorious sadist. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing that. She's tough, but if Miranda were a man, yeah. no one would notice anything about her except how great she is at her job. Yeah. That's pretty fucking 100, unfortunately. Completely. I can't believe this. You're defending her? Yeah. She's seen on the side of her. You, my friend, are crossing over to the dark side. She has joined. Yes, they have cookies. Good cookies. Mm, dark chocolate. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> yeah, I don't like either of the guys that yeah, have been it's, around. It's just one kind of shitty to another kind of shitty. <laughs> yeah. Fifty Shades of Shitty. <laughs> Why? And Paris is my hometown. Don't say that, man. Yeah. Beat me up, soft boy. I never understood why everyone was so crazy about Paris, but it is so beautiful. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there it is. I just put up a couple days ago. Mm. Like, when he first turned up, I was like, hmm, okay. He could be all right. Yeah. But uh, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. My gut says no. It's a, yeah, it's just a little too. 
Uh, it's a little too ignoring her like actual thoughts and feelings. I think that there's a tasteful way to go about it, and this wasn't it. Mm. <laughs> Not necessarily wrong. In the words yeah, of Ross again. Geller, they were on a break. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's shady. It's it's a gray. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's the thing. I don't think that there's anything morally or ethically wrong yet. Mm. I just don't have a good feeling about this dude. Why does something feel wrong? He's gone, isn't he? That would make sense. Unless he's just in the bathroom or some shit. Whatever. I don't care if he's still there or not. Yeah. I don't trust him. <gasps> oh, no. What's going on here? What the hell is this? It's a mock -up of what American runway will look like when Jacqueline Follet is the new editor-in-chief. Wait. They're replacing Miranda? That's right. American Runway is one of the most expensive books in the business. Jacqueline does the same thing for a lot less money. Oh. Or a businessman. You know? Yeah, there's the real scumminess. Baby, it's done. I know that. Baby? I'm not your baby. Yeah. It feels just unnecessarily scummy. It's like, yeah. I don't want to deal with the fallout of your shit, so I'm just going to avoid you. Yeah, pretty much. I know. Thank God. You're there. I'm not oh, no. She's not used to being on the other end of this. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to lose her job, dude. Like, go for it. Yeah, it's time for big risks. You got to take a Hail Mary. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, you lost your mind. I need to talk to you. Dude. Do not disturb me. And she's really trying here. Does she have an outfit change? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like not the time. <laughs> but I guess, you know, this is that world. Mm. Irv is making Jacqueline Tolle the editor-in-chief of Runway. She knows. I thought that maybe if I told you, you could fix it. Do I smell freezes? She knows. That's why she was talking to him. Thank you very much for coming today to help celebrate James Holt. Ah, uh, Brad. Charming Brad. Charming Brad. I would like to share some news. Recently, Massimo Cortellone has agreed to finance the expansion of the James Holt label. I remember this part. When the time came to choose the new president of James Holt International, he chose from within the Runway family. And it's my great happiness to announce to you all that that person is my friend. Shocking for Wait, what? Yep. So that she can't take her job. And this is why she's the devil. Yeah. When the time is right, she'll pay me back. Will she? You sure about that? Yeah. Mm. No. But I hope for the best. Damn, dude. I have to. That guy's got an unbreakable will. I've known what was happening for quite some time. So she had time to think about it too. Truth is, there is no one that can do what I do. Any of the other choices would have found that job impossible and the magazine would have suffered. I mean, I don't disagree with her. Very impressed by how intently you tried to warn me. I see a great deal of myself in you. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, but now she's not so sure that's a good thing. You can see beyond what people want and they need and you can choose for yourself. I couldn't do what you did to Nigel Miranda. I can calling it out. You already did. To Emily. Ooh, whoopsie. That was different. I didn't have a choice. Oh, no. Did what you had to do. You chose to get ahead. You want this life? Those choices are necessary. Well, yeah. She's not wrong. What if I don't want to live the way you live? Then you need to figure that out. Don't be ridiculous. Everybody wants to be us. Uh, uh, definitely not everyone. Some people, sure. But yeah, that's the point is you got to be in it mm. and you got to know what it costs. That's why she takes the divorce and everything else just in stride on the chin. Because that's the job. She doesn't want this. Nope. Hey. This is what I mean. I like that this is the reason she bailed. It wasn't because, oh, no, my friends don't like me anymore. My shitty boyfriend doesn't like me anymore. Yeah. This was a good fucking reason for her to bail. Says, I don't want to be that person. Yeah. And you only have to be the person you want to be. Yeah, totally. Like, if you don't want to make the sacrifices, you don't have to. Yeah, don't do it. You shouldn't feel like that. Yeah. Like, this is the dream. Yeah. No, no, this is her dream. I will say that, yeah, like, her friends were right to call her out on that whole, oh, but I had to, but I had to. It's like, no, you want to. Fair, but still. Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean, like their I, no, no, I didn't like that attitude either, yeah, but, but she should have been more yeah. aware of, like, dude, you're choosing to she, be I in mean, it. again, though, she didn't fully know what she was in. To be at work in 20 minutes. Ugh, this is my least favorite part of the movie. They get back together. Oh, that's disappointing. I wanted to say that you were right about everything. Was he? I turned my back on my friends and my family. And Did you? On everything I believed in. And I don't think that's what happened. And for what? Her shoes <laughs> and shirts. That's not why she did it. If it was all a facade, that, yeah. yeah, bullshit, man. I call bullshit. I'm sorry. 
She had a chance to do something big. She yeah. wanted to at least give it a shot. Interviewed at the Oak Room. And? And you're looking at their new sous chef. So it's okay when you get ahead. Fuck off. I don't know what I'm going to do without those late night girl cheeses. We might be able to figure something out. Oh my God. God, fuck off. Would you? Is that up to your standards, buddy? I think. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> yeah. What, what a guy. Runway? You were there for less than a year. What the hell kind of a blip is that? A pretty oh. big one. Buddy. A huge one. Called over there for reference. I got a fax from Miranda Priestley herself. Of all the assistants she's ever had, Best you were one. by far her biggest disappointment. Oh, really? And? Because she left? If I don't hire you, I am an idiot. Nice. Yeah. Biggest disappointment because she was amazing. I'm mad that you were the best oh, assistant yeah. and you, you left. You're only disappointed in stuff if it meant a lot to you. See, this would have been fine if they just left out the part with the boyfriend. You could just cut that whole chunk out. And what like, was that about? Ugh. Can't she just meet a new guy? Isn't this all about her, like, moving on to bigger and better things? Yeah. More healthier things? Yeah. Hey, Emily, it's Andy. I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> you have a favor to ask of me. Really? I have all these clothes from Paris. Nice. I was wondering if you could take them off my hands. Well, I don't know. It's a huge imposition. <laughs> but I suppose I could help you out. She's adorable. I love it. I like that they both know how to do this. Yeah, yeah. They know the there, language. There are rules here. <laughs> right. It's sweet. I like that though. Yeah. And again, like I never thought she was a bitch. You have some very large shoes to fill. I love that that could be her saying that like, yeah, Andy was amazing. Mm. Or that just Andy has big feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Challenging to get my car. Boss. I really want to read the book of this. Yeah, I don't. Fine. <laughs> I don't read anymore. I ain't got time for that shit. That's fair. Get the audiobook. <laughs> <laughs> really? Please. You had to. One of those normies you had to looking be at way. me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that. It's just she can't afford to be that way. Yeah. Ah, uh, but she's taken her moment. Mm. Go. <laughs> yeah. God, she's amazing in this. Man, the casting though. Well, Street fucking killed it. Both everyone, of them did. Yeah, everyone killed it, to be fair. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't really have invested in many of the other characters. Emily Blunt, though. Emily and Blunt and Stanley, Stanley Tucci. Tucci. Yeah. yeah, they were great. Yeah. God, honestly, it would have been fine if they just left the boyfriend part out completely. They didn't have her do a whole reconciliation with the friends. Yeah. But so... here's the thing like, I liked that the boyfriend story started that way why did we come back? yeah why did i have to come back to it i thought the leaving him was part of the lesson yeah why do we backtrack on that exactly he sucked yeah he did <laughs> very much so that was double s brother fucking good movie though good right see it. Yeah. yeah that was great yeah, i guess we've got no news so, yeah, so until the next video you've been with sam steph and we're the, the movie, movie buds, buds.